everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you three easy vegan breakfast ideas that are perfect for meal prep or on-the-go people and are also higher in protein. This video is sponsored by Oregon, who creates and sells soy-free, gluten-free, and organic plant-based protein powders. As it is the new year, Oregon is hosting a new year renew sweepstakes, and I'm also partnering up with them to show you how easy meal prep can be a part of your new year resolutions. Get it? So along those lines, today I'm going to show you how you can refuel with some superfood chickpea cookies, some crustless spinach and mushroom quiches, and last but not least, some chocolate, peanut butter, and banana baked oatmeal. Whether you're an athlete or just a busy person on the go, these meals are higher in protein, which will help you feel full and satiated, which is perfect because, you know, no one likes to be hangry. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. First, we're going to be making some superfood chickpea cookies, and we're going to be using the new vanilla flavor of Orgain's Protein and Superfoods blend, which is exclusively at Costco stores. So to start out, we're going to need a food processor, and we're going to add some canned chickpeas into the food processor with some vanilla extract and some nut butter. I would recommend cashew butter, which is what I'm using here, but you can use whatever you'd like. Then we're just going to blend that up until everything is well incorporated. Then we're going to add in two scoops of the vanilla organ protein and superfoods powder, as well as some baking powder. And we're going to be baking our cookies, but if you just want to eat the plain cookie dough, you don't have to add this. I'm also adding a pinch of salt here. And then we're going to add about three tablespoons of plant-based milk. Then again, we're just going to blend everything together in our food processor. And as you can see, it should form a pretty thick and sticky dough. And then here I'm adding in some cacao nibs and then pulsing it into the blender to make these cookies chocolate chip cookies. You can also use mini chocolate chips or regular chocolate chips if you'd like. So here we have our cookie dough. As you can see, it is very thick and it is totally delicious like this, but I wanted to take it a step further and bake it into cookies. So it helps to have your hands wet for this step. And you're just going to take between two-ish, two and three tablespoons of dough and then use your hands to shape it into a cookie shape. These these cookies are not going to spread out very much when you put them on the tray, so make it as wide as you want. And you're just going to continue this with the rest of the dough and then place your cookies on a baking tray lined with parchment paper or you can grease the pan. Then we're just going to bake those in the oven and they come out looking a little bit something like this when they're finished. I added more cacao nibs on top for the aesthetic effect, but they are super delicious. And as you can see right here, they're very fluffy on the inside. So they're kind of like cakeys. They're not chewy cookies. I don't know, that was a bad joke. But either way, they're good and you guys should try them out. Up next, we're going to be making some spinach and mushroom crustless quiches. And we're actually going to be using Orgain's unflavored protein powder for this recipe. I know some of you guys want more savory breakfast options, so I wanted to include one in this video. So to start out, we're going to add a splash of water into a pan with some diced red onion. You can also use vegetable broth or oil if you would prefer, but either way, you're just going to saute this over a medium low heat until the onion becomes clear and more translucent. Then at this point, you can add in some sliced baby bella mushrooms, and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to cook them down and the mushrooms are slowly going to release their liquid. And you just want to keep cooking this until the mushrooms have completely shrunk and the veggies in the pan are pretty much dry. Then at this point, we're going to add in some spinach and just stir that around until the spinach completely cooks down. And we want this mixture to be pretty dry because we don't want it to make our muffins, or sorry, quiches soggy when we add it to them. So now we're going to make the batter for our quiches. The main base is actually going to be chickpea flour. And then we're also going to add in some nutritional yeast and some of that organ unflavored protein powder. Then for our spices, we're adding some turmeric, black pepper, salt, and a little bit of baking powder as well, just to help things rise. We're going to add those to the bowl and then stir everything together with a whisk or a fork until it's well incorporated. And then now we're going to add in some plant-based milk. Give everything a, a good stir, and this should be pretty thick. And then now we're going to add in the sauteed 
mushroom, onion, and spinach. If you want to use different veggies, you totally can. So you're just going to fold them into the batter here until they're pretty evenly distributed throughout the muffin mixture so we can get veggies in every crustless quiche. And I'm using a silicone muffin tray to make my quiches so I don't have to grease them, but grease them if you're using a regular one. Either way, you're going to fill them up pretty much to the top. The muffins will rise some in the oven, but they will flatten as they cool. And here I'm just cleaning up the tray a bit and then we're going to bake these in the oven. And then after they have finished baking, we're going to keep them in the tray and let them cool for another 10 minutes before removing them from the tray. But then afterwards you can serve them as desired. I think they're really great when you warm them up, kind of like a quiche. And as you can see here, they're pretty thick and dense and I think they kind of look quiche, especially when you cut them open as well. Finally, we're going to be making some chocolate, peanut butter, and banana baked oatmeal, and we're going to be using Orgain's Creamy Chocolate Fudge Protein Powder for this recipe. So to start out, we're going to need two bananas, and I wanted to note that as you can see here, my bananas have brown spots on them, and I would definitely recommend this. That means that the banana has become sweeter and the sugar has broken down more, so it's going to make your bars a lot more sweet. You don't wanna use starchy bananas, because we're not adding any other sugar or sweetener to this besides the bananas and the protein powder. You're just going to peel your bananas and put them into a bowl and then use a fork to mash them up. And this might take a while, you'll use some elbow grease, but hey, you, maybe you'll build some more muscles, I don't know. Um, but I also wanted to say it helps to stir the bananas, that helps break them up more. Next, we're going to add some vanilla extract and we're going to add some peanut butter. If you have a nut allergy, you could use sunflower butter in this as well. Obviously, it would just be sunflower seed and chocolate flavored oatmeal. We're just going to mix that together and then we're going to add in the plant-based milk. And I didn't add this in with the peanut butter because the peanut butter is kind of dense and it's easier to mix that in with the bananas and then just mix that in with the milk because it can be a bit challenging as the milk is obviously more ready. Now we're going to add in some oatmeal. I'm using a mixture of rolled oats and quick oats because I like the texture that it gives to the bars. But if you just have one or the other, you can totally just use all of that. It won't really affect the recipe that much. We're also going to add in some baking powder and then four scoops of Oregon's chocolate protein powder. Then we're just going to mix everything together until you have a nice even batter. And then we're going to line or grease a nine by nine pan. I decided to line mine with parchment paper. And then you're going to pour the oat mixture into the pan. And as you can see, the oats absorb liquid with time and this mixture is already starting to thicken. Then we're just going to spread out the top to make sure the top of our baked oatmeal will be nice and flat. And then from there, we're going to bake it in the oven for around 30 or so minutes. Once it comes out of the oven, you're going to want to let it cool completely in the pan just to allow the mixture to thicken a little bit more. But then once it's cooled, you can cut it into bars and I would probably eat around two of these for a breakfast meal. As you can see, it still kind of looks like oatmeal, but it has a very soft texture to it. So I wouldn't say it's like a brownie consistency. It's kind of like a bread pudding, but it's oatmeal and it's good for breakfast. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below which recipe was your favorite and which one you want to make first to help you refuel your body. A big thank you again to Orgain for sponsoring this video. I actually tried the protein powder a little bit over a year ago and I was really, really impressed with it because it's not like gritty like some of the other vegan varieties out there. So I was super excited to work with them on this video. Also, I just want to note that I do not consume protein powder on a daily basis. However, I know a lot of you guys do and you send me requests for higher protein videos, which is why I wanted to film this video for you. And along those lines, I just wanna say that as a vegan, it is totally possible to get all of the protein that you need by eating whole plant-based foods. However, just like people who eat meat supplement with protein powders, it is totally okay for vegans to supplement with protein powder as well. Especially if you're a busy, on-the-go person, it's just easier sometimes. And if it tastes delicious like these do, 
who really cares? I just know a lot of people get hung up over the whole vegan and protein thing, so I just wanted to set things straight on here. Um, but that's it. If this is your first time seeing my video and you like what you see here, feel free to hit that little subscribe button right down there. I post two new videos every single week. And thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope your 2018 is off to a great start, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you. I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.